in this video, we are going over a common medication that I see dispensed a lot in practice for the treatment and prevention of the flu and pretty much what it is, how to use the medication and what are some common side effects that you should look out for. And that is Oseltamivir. Now, first and foremost, Oseltamivir is the generic name for Tamiflu. It is an antiviral medication used for the treatment and prevention of the flu. Now, it's best to take Oseltamivir within 48 hours of the symptom onset, which include body aches, fever, chills, cough, and sore throat. Now, Oseltamivir comes in a typical dosage of 75 milligrams. For treatment, Oseltamivir is used twice a day for five days. And for prevention, Oseltamivir 75 milligrams is used once a day for 10 days. Now, Oseltamivir also comes in 30 and 45 milligrams. And these dosages are used for patients that need, that need adjusted dosings. Oseltamivir also comes in a suspension form for patients that have a hard time swallowing capsules and also for our pediatric patients. Now, when you pick up your medication from the pharmacy, it should come in a similar package form like this one. When you open up the package, the medication is in a blister form similar to this one. And they don't come in any sequential order. So you can go ahead and take your capsule vertically or horizontally, it doesn't really matter. So again, for treatment of the flu, you're gonna make sure you're gonna take two capsules together, either vertically or horizontally, making sure that the two capsules are 12 hours apart. Now, if you're taking Oseltamivir for prevention of the flu, make sure to take one capsule every day at the same time each day. Now, Oseltamivir is best taken after a meal. You definitely wanna make sure you drink plenty of water because it is a capsule and definitely wanna make sure it doesn't lodge in the esophagus. Now, some common side effects of Oseltamivir include nausea, upset stomach, abdominal cramps, headache, and some hallucinations and mood changes have been reported with Oseltamivir. Now, if you experience any of those side effects, definitely stop the medication and contact your doctor immediately. Now, one last point is that Tamiflu or Oseltamivir is pregnancy category C. So for our patients that are pregnant, you definitely wanna make sure that you uh, have a discussion with your primary, making sure that the medication is suitable for your condition and the benefits outweigh the risk. With that being said, I really hope that you enjoyed this consultation on Oseltamivir. Let me know what your thoughts are down under the comment section below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.